All right, as predicted, things are going pretty much the way I expected them in the silver market. 100 monkey fooling around here. Hello, Crime Stoppers. It's the silver charts. Um, I can't believe my videos don't get any hits when it comes to this. And yet, you could be making crap loads of money. And nobody's interested, apparently, in making money. Uh, this is the easiest no-brainer market to make money in ever. This They've treated silver like a penny stock. You can move pretty good amounts of money in and out of this thing uh, using the ETFs and so forth and various points. If you're collecting physical, it's a little more difficult to move things in and out. And uh, But if you just want to trade and make money, this is a simple thing to do. Um, so let's take a look. Here we have, uh, basically this is the one year, go well, actually this is like two years going back to 2011. Uh, this was that last huge run up. A lot of people bought here and then they got screwed and then, right? But here's what happens. What we have is higher, or excuse me, lower highs and lower lows going on right here. What I fully expect is kachunk a crash. How many times, they, well not a crash, but just a takedown. How many times do they need to do it to you? We're doing this. We're going back down here. We're doing this. We're doing that. Look, look. Oh, there it is. Right? Can you hear the silver crying? Silver lungs crying. The silver miners crying. Ah! Right? Can you hear them? Take. Ow! My ass! Right? Ow! Ow! There it is. Ow! Ah! ah. It does. Ah! There it is again. Okay. We're not. We're not headed in a slow pattern. Like to to take up. We're not staging to ramp up like we just were here, where we had higher highs and higher lows. What we're having again is them, and this is a 100% rigged market. This has nothing to do with reality. They cannot make money pulling it out of the ground at this price because of inflation and all the other costs that have gone up, labor costs, fuel costs, mining costs have just gone up in every way, shape, and form. So uh, getting it out of the ground here is not, this is not possible. Uh, well, it's possible, it's just not possible at a profit. So it needs to go higher. And we've got all this other stuff going on. If you read the news, people are buying up, you know, in gold, in the gold sector, they're buying up annual production of mines. I mean, it's like there it's crazy what's going on, and yet the price drops. This is a rigged market. Now, here we have a bear in our bull. If I could go back further, and I I've chosen this because I can quickly render um, the moving averages, but if you could go back further and take a look at a chart that's, or, you know, that goes back 10 years or 15 years, and you'll see the huge run-up that we've had in silver from $5. I mean, we're still, you know, almost five times when I started buying it. I was, I was able to get silver delivered to my door in physical form for $5 an ounce. I mean, delivered. So I, mean, I was buying it for less than that because there's shipping charges. Now, uh, you can't get it to your door for less than probably $25, $30. It's difficult to get the physical silver in there because you got, you got to pay shipping and it's premiums everywhere. So buying it at exactly this price is very difficult. But understanding the concept that you want to buy down here and sell up here should be pretty simple, right? The name of this game is not buy, bottom, sell, top. It's just buy low, sell higher. And see, I used to do this thing called 10, 25, 36. And what you basically do is decide, what do you want to get? You look at the market and the conditions. Would you like to get 10%? Well, then all you have to do is buy at 20 and sell at 22. And you've gotten 10% of your money. That is nothing to scoff at. 15% or 20%? Again, you could have easily done that, right? You're buying down here around 20 and selling it at 24. And you could get these actual numbers if you're investing and in, in fooling around in the ETFs and paper. If you're trying to do it physical, uh, no. But if you're playing short-term trades, come on. You could, how hard would it be to buy underneath 20 and sell it at, say, 24? Easily. Okay, that's a, that's a good return right there. And if you do that a couple of times a year, getting 20% of your money or 10% of your money, it really starts to add up quickly, those compounding periods. Um, and you can turn a little money into a lot of money in five years' time. Just, you know, get 10% then turn around, get 10% again, then turn around, get 10% again. All right now, here's what happens is a lot of people go, oh, I missed it, and they start buying here. That's a bad idea. And then, oh, I missed it, right? And, and this is what they're doing. They're trying to fake you out. Oh, it's going to take off, so you buy, and you expect it to go more, so you don't sell. And then it comes back down again. Oops. And then, oh, maybe you're clever enough to buy here, but usually not. You'll wait for it to take off, and you start buying here, and oh, it comes down again. And then you buy again, and it comes down again. 
right? You're doing the exact opposite. Look at this, this moving average. When it is under, you want to buy, and when it is over, you want to sell. How hard is that? That's the 50 right there. Let's take a longer look at the 100. Render that one. And it becomes very clear. We're over, right? Is this the time? When you're over, you want to be selling. When you're under, you want to be buying. Where, are we over or under right now? It's, it's, it's simple as as that. This is not rocket science. Uh, 200. And I'm staying with this longer chart. We'll look at the closer chart in a second here. Or the, the shorter term. All right. Sell, 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 sell. Buy, 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 buy. Ooh, should still be. So some, some of my friends are saying, well, it still should be buying because that's still under the 200 moving day average. And we should go. But what I'm saying is it's going to go further down here. So if you didn't buy here and sell here when we got close and see this is how it's rigged, right? Oh, it's pretty believable. <laughs> Hit its head on the 200 day moving average is what you'll hear the analysts say. Um, and then we're going to go down. Okay, we'll buy when it gets back down here. And see, for guys like me, buy, buy, buy. No buy, no buy, no buy. Buy. Oops, it fell off a cliff. Buy, buy, buy some more. Right? And then it takes off. Mm, I don't want to sell yet, especially if I did all my buying way the hell up here. Okay, buy. Right? Easier to buy when it's going down than it is to try to buy when it's going up anyway getting filled where you want to get filled and then further when you want to sell it's easy to sell when it's on a run like this it's easy to sell when it's on a run like this you probably depending on your market maker if you try to put in your sell order you probably will fill over your sell right where you wanted it um so let's take a look at our one month look at that right there's no question that we're where are we trending? Which way are we going? Should be pretty simple to see. Here's our five day. And we have, are you going to render that? Oh, come on, render it. There you go. Okay, so now we see we have the last few days of trading and I know people again are saying, well, we've gone below that moving average. Well, dude, that's, that's, let's do this. And because it's five days, I only hit, we can only do, I want lines and I want to do, we're going to have to customize this and get out to a month. There you go. All right. So now we're going to be able to take out then take a look at what's our 50 day moving average. Uh, it's not the 50. It says it's the 50. All right, fine. So we, we're still, right, now we're crossing underneath that moving average. And now we begin to get into the territory when you want to buy. This was sell territory up here, not buy territory. And this is going to be buy territory as we get down here further. It's, it's like I said, this is not hard. Okay, this was buy, 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 buy. Yeah, sell, but it wasn't enough of a run to sell. But buy, buy, buy. Okay, so now we are well into sell territory, and and the market makers know it, and they can play with this. And when we get back down over here, what will happen is it'll start. You know, these two will converge, and I believe they'll still pull it down hard. You see these hard drops, and we'll get close to this. We may even punch under twenty again. Now, I was hoping, my wishful thinking was telling me, hey, maybe we can get it down to 10. They're not going to get it down to 10. <laughs> I don't think they can pull it off. Um, but if you take a look at what's been going on over the last six months and a year, it's very clear that when we have these higher, or excuse me, lower highs and lower lows, what's going to happen is they're going to take it off the cliff. It's, it's coming. Okay, so next time they take it off the cliff, start buying when it gets down there. Don't worry, there's a floor down here. Then, And even if they did take it down to 10, buy more down there. If you loved it down at 20, then you love it at 10. And, but people are so scared that it's going to keep going down that they shake you out, right? And then when it takes off like this, people are, oh, it's about to go. It's about to go. I better get in. And not. They're not. They haven't lost control of this market, guys. They have not. And you don't have to worry about them losing control of it anytime soon. The financial system is going to collapse. 
it will fall apart. Gold and silver are going to become money again one day, but not today and not tomorrow, not this week, not next month. And when that collapse comes, you need to explain to your friends that this collapse was 100% contrived. This was not, not an accident. It wasn't the poor people. It wasn't the subprime borrowers that crashed the market. It's not the poor people that are on food stamps that are causing the market to, right, to self-destruct. It's the big boys and their money sloshing around and the fact that the FRN is fiat currency and all of that debt and all of those derivatives eventually are going to get called in. And guess what? When that collapse first happens, everything's going to go down because they will sell their gold and their silver to meet their calls, to meet the right? Okay, and this is what happens every time. But then when people wake up and realize, hey, wait a minute, this paper money is worth crap. I want my silver. I want my gold. I don't want a warehouse receipt. I want my physical. Things are going to get really interesting. And when that happens, like I said a hundred times, you're not going to, I don't care how much silver you have, how much gold you have. You look around all the pain that's, <laughs> that's out there. And when this happens, it's, it's going to be pain for everybody, whether you have gold or silver or not, and whether the price goes to 150 or 200 or 1,000, the pain will be so great that the money will be no solace. You're having silver and gold will be no solace. And then the system will destruct and it will reorganize at a higher, at a higher level. Because I don't believe people are gonna buy the nonsense. Hey, we just had a bunch of fiat currency and this was crap. And uh, so here, we're gonna do a new fiat system and it's gonna be crap again. What you're going to see is people like in Hungary where they have uh, basically kicked out the Rothschilds and said, hey, we're printing sound money. We're printing debt-free currency. Uh, Iceland, uh, more and more people are waking up. People are starting to figure out that this is a totally rigged game. And the only place that you can find security is in physical assets, gold, silver, platinum, uh, you know, commodities, land, houses, things that have actual physical value because the paper is going to turn to crap. There's, there's no question. Anyway, in the meantime, before you get to the time where, where the paper turns to crap, make some money, right? Money never hurts anything. And this is an easy market to make money in. Buy, sell. <laughs> look at what happens during the week. Um, this is Tuesday. Take, take a look at where they're painting it on Friday. They painted it under 23. Clear signal to everybody out there who's in the trading game which way this thing's going. Could not hold 23. So we are now under 23, and it's going to march lower, and then it's going to fall off a cliff. They always do this. They've done it over and over again. Look, I mean, look, just in the last year, I mean, how many times do they have to do this? It's slam, slam, slam. There's a slam. Here's a, there's a mini slam. Here's a grand slam. Right? Slam. There's another slam, right? There's another one. mini slam. Mini, mini, right? They're going to do it again. There's no question in my mind that they're going to take it down before they take it up. The long-term trend, if I could get a longer chart, and this doesn't show the longer chart, that the bear market is intact. From here to five is a hell of a rise. And it, even though we've got a downtrend in our uptrend, we're, and right now we've got a little uptrend in our downtrend that's inside of our downtrend in our uptrend, it, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't matter. We're, gonna, we're not taking off. We're not going to the moon anytime soon. It's gonna happen just not today. So, you know, govern yourselves accordingly. Here is uh, a, a very clear indication that we're about to go down. Now, when it gets down there, buy. The name of this game is buy low, sell high. It's not buy bottom, sell top. So even if you're in over here, if you decided that this was a good place to buy, oh, and you got screwed, well, just wait, it'll go. But you could dollar, you could, you know, if you're doing dollar cost averaging, you've been buying and buying and buying and you love it down here because it's, you're buying more and more and more. Even here when you're buying, you're still bought more than we got there for the same money, right? Okay, well, if you, you can uh, average down here, although there are plenty of players that say never average down, but pl th this market is no, this a no-brainer that it's going back up to 40. There's not any question that it's going to 40. We got backwardization. We've got, they can't pull the money, they can't pull the silver out of the ground for the money that it costs. So you, 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 you buy here, you sell here. You, you, you buy down here, you sell again, right? Okay, and if you, and if you missed this sale because you were thinking it was gonna keep going and now it's heading down, you could still, if you bought down here, you can still sell at a profit and make money by taking all that money and buying again down here. 
again, like I said, you compound this wealth a couple of 10%, a couple of 10%, right? right? It's, it's just 10%. You want a hundred bagger, right? You want a, you want a, a two bagger, as they say, from 20 to 40, but that, it's not going to happen fast in this market. But you can get the tens and the twenties and the fifteens. And you can get 20, 10, 25, 36, depending on when you look at it. I mean, from here to there, right? I mean, on a percentage basis, right down, down here, it is a no brainer to take some money invested in here. Like take, okay, Here's a simple scenario. Take uh, five thousand dollars. Just picking a number. Um, buy at twenty, and then it goes to uh, thirty. How much money do you have? Some simple math, right? It goes to forty. Now you've got ten thousand dollars, right? Uh, so you've doubled your money. There's no place else you're doubling your money. You're gonna get that in a bank account. You're gonna get that in bonds. You're gonna get that. Where are you gonna get that kind of return in that shorter period of time? Now that's if you're holding for the big slams and so forth. But if you just want, you take, if you just, you know, buy a twenty and sell at twenty-two, that's a great, and do that again, right? Do it again, do it again, do it again over a year's time. Do it again, then, uh, boom, you've made good money on your five grand, and in a short order, you will have ten, twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars. Do the math, right? People can't do the math. Do the compounding. Understand compound interest and understand how that works in your favor instead of having it work against you in credit cards and debt. But all you've got to do is is follow the market. The trend is your friend. Right now we're in a downtrend. We're not done being in a downtrend. Understand that in the winter time it, it tends to, to rise and it tends to rise sharply. So we're going to have, I think, a double bottom here. Uh, double bottoms, right? And then, oh, oops, it didn't work this way. But this was going from the winter time and then I said it was going to be a long hot summer and they're going to take it down and sure enough they have right because people were predicting that it was going to take off over here and I was no 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 same no we're not taking off anytime soon but in the winter time they tend to do this in the in the toward the winter so we're heading we're running out of time for them to march it down so they should march it down one more time possibly two more times and then they'll let it rise for a while again. But they're not losing control of this thing. All right. Oh, that, I was wanting that to be short, and it turned out I babbled for 17 minutes. Gee whiz. All right. Uh, e pluribus unum. I can't believe that these don't get more shared. And people, I mean, it's money. It's easy money, for God's sakes. How do you guys not make money in this market? Ah. <sighs>